Um, first of all, I just wanted to ask you the, the $64,000 question. What's next for you? Oh, I can't wait to get back to work full time, which we've been continuing to do, of course, as governor of Alaska, but they're in Alaska, producing energy for the rest of this nation. We've got to become energy secure. We need a good energy policy. I want to reach out to Barack Obama and the new administration also in talking about the need for energy security. This is a matter of national security and um, economic prosperity. Alaska should be leading on energy policy. Can't wait to get back to work for the people of Alaska and the people of America in that role. What about 2012? Don't know what the heck's going to happen in 2012. Again, just very anxious to um, get back to work there in Anchorage and in Juneau, making sure that the people of Alaska are well served. You're, you're, you're uh, notably not ruling out 2012. Well, I, you know, right now I cannot even imagine um, running for national office in 2012. And I say that, though, of course, coming on the heels of, of an outcome that uh, I, I certainly did not anticipate and, and had not hoped for. But this being a chapter now that is closed and realizing that it is a time to unite. Night, and all Americans need to get together and um, uh, help with this new administration being ushered in. Policies that have, have got to help this nation and keep us secure. Um, it, it is a time for all of us to work together. So, um, having, having said that, 2012 sounds so far off that can't even can't even imagine what I'd be doing then. Well, one more question about about the election that just ended yesterday. Yeah. Um, if you look at some of the polls and you talk to people who are really crunching the numbers and, and, and specifically who voted what way and who sort of was swayed one way or the other, independent voters, suburban voters, some of the people, women, people who, are, who the campaign thought you would be able to help actually looked at your presence on the ticket and said, I'm going to vote the other way. What, what do you make of that? Well, you know, I, I I don't think anybody should give Sarah Palin that much credit that, that I would trump an economic, um, woeful time in this nation that occurred about two months ago that my presence on the ticket would trump the economic crisis that America found itself in a couple of months ago and attribute John McCain's loss to me. But now having said that, if I cost John McCain even one vote, and I am sorry about that because John McCain, I believe, is the American hero. I, I had believed that it was his time, he being so full of courage and wisdom and experience, that valor that he just embodies. I believe he uh, would have been the best pick. but. That is not the American's choice at this time, and uh, realizing that, again, uh, it's time to move forward, move on. I certainly am not one to ever waste time looking backwards, pointing fingers, and, and playing the blame game. I'm not going to participate in that at all. Um, there are good things in store for this nation, and we're only going to get there in reaching America's destiny if we all unite, work together, and um, certainly put aside the pettiness and obsessive partisanship that just gets in the way of doing what's right for the people of America. So I won't participate in any of the negativity. And now that this is over, when you, you think back and you uh, hear words like diva or going rogue <laughs> uh, that we were told about, frankly, because uh, of some tension uh, between you and some of the people who John McCain worked for, some of the people who, who helped get you on the ticket. What, can you tell us a little bit more now that this is over about some of the uh, tension? Well, I, I still, it is absolutely false that there's been any tension, certainly from my part or my family's part, and in fact, uh, my family who is surrounding me here, they, they know me, they know my values, what I stand for, they know my work ethic, they know that certainly there is absolutely no diva in me. In fact, we laugh about that criticism, and if only people, um, you know, come on up and travel, travel with us to Alaska and see this diva lifestyle that uh, I supposedly live or would demand, because that's just false. But again, I'm not going to participate in any of the negativity. Some people may choose to go there, but it will be based on false allegations if that is a criticism that uh, ever there were demands on my part or my family or my supporters' parts that, that were um, unreasonable or, or would have hurt the campaign. It's false. Where to now? Heading back to Alaska tonight, and I'm anxious to, uh, you know, kind of get back into a more normal routine with the kids in school and with um, the Anchorage office and the Juneau governor's office also, uh, ready to receive more attention there. It's, it's been very invigorating and, and energizing working full-time as a governor while uh, participating in this presidential campaign. I think some people may have lost sight of that, too, that, uh, you know, it, it's been quite a busy schedule, logistically especially, and now to get back into more of a normal routine, putting all of my attention there to the people of Alaska, whom I'm accountable to. I look forward to this. Thank you, Governor. Okay, thank I appreciate you your time. Thank, thank you, you so for much. stopping. Appreciate okay. you. Thank sure. you.